Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And guys, I did the physical media report yesterday, and I told you because I was filming a full day early that if we got some cool announcements, I would do a kind of supplemental announcement video. I do these kind of videos anyway when big stuff like this comes out. Um, but we got the second round of Film Vault Range um, editions, the Film Vault Range. Uh, 4k editions um and yeah the first four that we got we got them last year we got scarface we got 1917 we got blade runner we got goodfellas we got four more uh, to talk about these incredible uh looking box sets right here look at that artwork right there guys on that scarface like these sets have some of the best artwork that i've ever seen on any physical media uh release but if you're not familiar with the film vault range series they are uh a uk only uh you know premium box set release and they've got tons of art cards and and little trinkets and collectibles and just really cool stuff in these box sets. They all have these like collectors uh, plaques in them as well. Am I putting my finger in the right spot? That are all numbered. These are all limited to, I believe, 5,000 units. And the number is on that plaque. So it makes it even more limited and even more collectible and even more valuable uh, for your collection. So yeah, they announced uh, the second round of these. And I am here to cover... Uh, these collector sets here today. Let me let me make this. Uh, there we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, we got some great movies. Like the the first four were great, and I believe that those came out like last November, December. Uh, so this isn't something that they announce like every month. They take their time with these. Um, but this round, guys, we're getting Apollo thirteen. We're getting Jaws. We're getting two thousand and one: A Space Odyssey, and we are getting the Shawshank Redemption. So so far. This has been all uh, Universal and Warner Brothers film. So it's like a collaborative effort. And then you got to the Film Vault range that is putting these out. Like I said, these are UK exclusives. Right now, these are available for pre-order on Zavi. And they're also available for pre-order on the Amazon UK um, as well. I will link all that down below in the description, even though I don't believe uh, that Zavi is currently shipping to the US. I, I think that they are still not shipping to the US. So that's an ongoing problem. But I think that Amazon UK does, uh, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that they do ship um, to the US. So you can pre-order from that. I'll put all those links down below in the description. And then we have the Vice Press site, which actually does all the artwork for these. And they're doing exclusive posters with these sets as well. I can link those. Um, those uh, I can put those links down below in the description as well. All right, so let's dig into these guys. I want to go through them all and just give you give you the deets, give you the details. So look, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. We cover physical media here, guys. And I did a full unboxing of all the last four that came out. And I'll try to link that somewhere. Maybe I'll link that. I'll link it like right over there or something. So you can go check it out. If you want to see like full unboxings um, of these sets, just great box sets, guys. Now I will say before we get into it, let's go ahead and click on what I believe is number five. They got these all out of order. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption. What I will say is these are not just for watching. Like you can obviously, the prices on these are very high. You can obviously get the Shawshank Redemption for like 15 bucks on 4K right now. I've seen it at 10. Uh, so these aren't just to simply get these movies on 4K. These are big prestige premiere box set releases to add to your collection. Like if you are a collector, you like collecting these sets, uh, these big box set releases, um, you want these. You don't just want them to watch. You want them to display. You want them to add value uh, to your collection. So for anybody that's getting ready to comment, I'm not buying those. Those are way too expensive. Who would waste their money on that? Um, well, a lot of people see collecting physical media different ways. We'll just say that. Um, and if you want Shawshank Redemption just on 4K, just to watch, this is probably not the best option for you. There are better options, but if you are into collecting these kind of big box set, like special editions, um, then these are for you, but they will, you know, cost you a pretty penny. 58 99 pounds is what this is running. I believe that all these are the same price, which is about 65 to 70 bucks us dollars. So they are not cheap. I do. I just want to let you guys know that I want to reiterate that not cheap. 
uh, these sets. So this is Vault, uh, you know, 005 right here. But look at this artwork, guys. It is it, it is insane. Like, it's so good. It makes me want to cry. Like, the lightning, just the way it looks. And you got Tim Robbins standing there in the rain. Iconic scene from the movie. But it just looks so good, guys. Like, I, I love it. And see the other image right here. You can see you got the five on the side right there. I just love the way they, they do these. Like, I, I just need these in my collection to go with my other four. And right here, we'll look at this picture. But you get, you know, you get the little pick, the little pickaxe down there that they made. To, you know, I don't want to spoil the movie, but you know what they did with it. Uh, but then you get all the art cards and the posters and the booklets. And it's just a really nice set. And it looks like you have some kind of, you know, a letter down there um as well so let's get down here into the details this is limited to five thousand, like i said and if you're not familiar with the film vault range uh the film vault is a new premium home entertainment range celebrating cinema's greatest films the collection features exclusive artwork from from vice press plus unique premiums housed in an innovative uh numbered packaging um so that's a little explanation of what this of what this new line is this line that's you know about six months old and i imagine that you know since they came out last november that we're probably going to get these maybe every six months unless they start you know really ramping up uh but you get new key art by matt ferguson and flory from vice press uh you get an o-ring removes from a type free display of your key art Exclusive individually numbered crystal display plaque, a rigid clamshell box with magnetic closure. Yeah, these box sets are just so nice. The magnetic case. Uh, seven collectible character cars with, with added film quotes. Uh, reproduction of Andy's buried letter for red. Double-sided reproductions of original theatrical posters. Poster of the new key arts feature film on 4K UHD and Blu-ray with special features. So... Just tons of stuff, guys. Tons of stuff. Commentary by writer-director Frank Darabont. Two documentaries. Uh, Hope Springs Eternal. Look back at the Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank, uh, the Redemption's uh, feature. So I imagine that these are not new documentaries. I don't think any of the special features are new. I think they have been present on previous releases. But I don't remember two documentaries being... Um, and I've got it over here, I believe. I might grab it real quick just to kind of look. Um, okay, so yeah, both of those features uh, are on the 4K. Uh, the, both the documentaries, Hope Springs Eternal and uh, a look back at, at uh, or Shawshank, the redeeming uh, features. So yeah, both of those are on the 4K release that I'm holding right here. So yeah, nothing newest in terms of special features. Looking at the product details, you get, uh, you know, 15 certificate, number disc, two discs, all that stuff. We'll just look at this is region A, B, and C, so you're not going to have an issue with it, you know, being region locked or anything like that. You can play it on any player. Obviously, it's a 4K. All right, let's go ahead and, and back out real quick, and we'll go ahead and jump into number six, which, again, like they, like I thought they did good with the artwork for the first four, but they killed it with the artwork on these like killed it we haven't even got to the best one yet uh but this is the the jaws the vault range 4k ultra hd and this is number six in that line but look at that you got the fin it's so simple guys the fin with the sunset and the water and the swimmer and the distance and the buoy it's so simple but my god is this artwork stunning i i absolutely love it and then look, you get a better picture right here. And then look inside, you get, like I said, the art cards and the, you get the drawing of the chalkboard of the, of the, of the shark, which is super cool. Amityville Island, just tons of, of cool swag that comes in all these releases. Really cool stuff. Um, yeah, guys, I'm in love with this set, in love with this set and scrolling down. I'm not gonna, you know, repeat myself on, on everything, um, but just getting into some of the, the different stuff, four collectible art cards, three unique character cards, reproduction, Amityville Island billboard poster, replica beach clothes sign poster of the new key arts. Um, and then you get, you know, all the special features that are present on all the other releases as well. Kind of scrolling down and yeah, region a, B and C, but yeah, I, I just love it. I love this artwork so much. It, it just looks so incredible. All right, let's, uh, I don't uh, know what number seven is. I 
believe it is 2001. So let's jump into 2001. And yes, this is number seven. But God, this artwork is so is so good. Oh, God, I love it. All the colors. And look, I've seen I've seen 2001 one time. I thought the movie was so impressive from a technical standpoint. Like the fact that Stanley Kubrick directed this movie in the 60s is just like endlessly impressive. Um, in this scene where all the colors and stuff are flying as he's flying through space is such a great scene. And they just perfectly encapsulate that in this artwork. But um, I still don't love the movie. I want to love the movie, so I need to watch it again. But like that doesn't take away from this artwork. Oh, my God, this is so good. Such incredible artwork. Love it, love it, love it. And just getting into the set itself with the swag and the art cards and, and all that stuff. And it looks like you have a little thing down there. I don't know what that is, but you can see how the robot, uh, which is super cool. I like that, whatever that is. Uh, but let's scroll down. Let's see. Seven replica lobby cards with added film quotes. Double-sided reproductions of original theatrical posters. Poster of new key art. Uh, feature film on 4K UHD and special features on Blu-ray. Um, so I don't, uh, I feel like that, are they like missing stuff? I feel like there's stuff that they, that they haven't shown. Maybe that's just included with the like art cards and stuff. Maybe they're just counting it as that, but I don't know what that little thing right there is with, with how the robot on it, what that's supposed to be. Uh, so this is limited edition of 6,000. So there's 6,000 of these. I didn't know that. I didn't know these were going to have like different amounts. Uh, let's see. And then you get, you know, all the special features and stuff that are present on, all the other releases scrolling down through the specs region a b and c so just an incredible set guys like they just outdid themselves with the artwork and let's get into the last one apollo 13 guys i really want to rewatch this movie it's been too long but i just i remember loving this movie when i was a kid um but the artwork again spectacular it's it's the moon it's all so simple but just all just some of the best artwork i've ever seen um, just incredible guys. You got the, uh, equations and stuff kind of in the background, kind of in the space You can kind of see it very faintly, but this is number eight right here in the set and get a closer look at it. You get again, all the art cards and, and all that stuff. Just, just so impressive guys. I, I love these, love them. And this is only limited, uh, 3,500. So maybe they're anticipating not a, not a lot of people get into Apollo 13, um, which I guess makes sense. It would, it makes sense that people would go after Jaws and 2001 first. I feel like they're the most iconic, um, or at least the most like collectible. I feel like, I feel like there's people that collect for like 2001 stuff and Jaws stuff, whereas Shawshank and Apollo 13 are great movies and everybody knows they're great movies. They're not necessarily the most like collectible, uh, movies in the world though. Uh, let's see. Rigid clamshell box with magnetic closure. Maybe that's what that is. A clamshell box with magnetic closure. So I don't know if there's anything in that clamshell box though. Uh, let's see. Four collectible art cards with film facts, five unique character cards of film quotes, reproduction of Apollo 13, uh, launch guest pass, double-sided poster, new key art and theatrical, uh, feature film on both 4k UHD and Blu-ray lost moon, the triumph of Apollo 13, the making of Apollo 13, Conquering Space, The Moon and Beyond, Lucky 13. So I'm just reading the special features, guys. But there's commentaries by Ron Howard. There's feature commentary by Jim and Marilyn Lovell. Uh, that's really cool that they put those those two. Uh, they did a commentary. That's awesome. Paul 13, 20 years later. So going through all the, uh, you know, the special features, region A, B, and C. So really great stuff, guys. I, I, I'm just in love with all of these. But the artwork and in particular. And like I said, these are on Zavi to pre-order. These are on Amazon UK to pre-order, but let's look at the, uh, let's see, let's look at this vice press website real quick. Uh, and you have them all kind of front and center right here, but I believe they announced them on this site over the weekend. But with these, if you pre-order from the vice press site, you will also get the posters. Now they are more expensive on this site for sure. And I believe that some of these are already sold out. Yeah, like I said, Jaws 2001 already sold out. So the posters for those, which makes sense. Like that Jaws poster is God that I wish I would have got that. Uh, 2001 though, God, that's so stunning as well. But I love Shawshank and Apollo 13. So 
I feel bad for him. They didn't get rid of those. Maybe I should get Shawshank. That's uh, and that's very pricey. Uh, but geez, like those are so nice. But yeah, you can pre-order them on this site, and I believe it has all. It should have all the same stuff. It just it just has the poster. That's the extra thing that they added into these. But I'll link uh, Paul thirteen and um, and uh, Shawshank down below in the description. So and uh, poster edition two hundred. So I think there's only two hundred of these available right now uh and the release date guys is uh 210 2023 expected to ship why is it saying release date 210 uh okay maybe that's backwards maybe it's 10 to uh october 2nd 2023 which is my birthday uh october 2nd 2023 expected to ship october 2023 okay that makes sense so these are coming out in october that's crazy so these are a long way off uh so yeah i'm pretty sure it has all the same stuff it just has the um uh just has the poster with it so let me go back here on the zabi site make sure that the release dates line up if they have release dates on here don't know if i'm seeing the release dates let's see let's go to pre-order and uh we'll view the basket see if they say anything in there and i'm not sure but i mean it says october on that one so i'm gonna i'm gonna assume that they're coming out in october let's go back to the film vault site again and i'll go i'll go back and, and check out jaws make sure this one has the same the same release date. Oh, so it doesn't. This one's supposed to come out in September, September 4th of 2023. So all these have different release dates according to Vice Press. And then going right here, uh, this is also September for Shawshank Redemption. And then for 2001, this is October. So 2001 and Jaws are October and Shawshank and Apollo look to be um, in September. But... Yeah, I can't see the release dates on Zavi. Maybe, you know, Amazon will have those and I'll have to look there. But look, that's it, guys. Look at the, these. These sets are stunning. Like they they really are. And like I said, if you just want the movies, I don't recommend getting these sets. But if you are into collecting these kind of, you know, special collector's edition box sets, like these are just some of the nicest uh available right now like that the scarface 1970 goodfellas um blade runner some of the nicest thing pieces of physical media i have in my collection so i definitely uh recommend them if you like this kind of you know uh, collectibles if you like these kind of collectible box sets so appreciate you guys for watching like comment subscribe um all that good stuff, you know, follow me on my social media accounts. I'm on Instagram and, and Twitter and all those places. I do announcements there, um, you know, when I'm not making YouTube videos. So I appreciate your follow there and I will see you guys later.